Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Well, I'm still in Italy, and uh, this is a new chow recipe for this St. Patrick's Day. And uh, it is vegan. You just have to have uh, a loaf of bread that it does not contain eggs uh, and uh, milk. Just the same loaf, just a easy loaf of bread. Some buckwheat, some PG old user tea bag, some... Uh, pumpkin seed that I got over there from the cold Fiorito mix. These are a burger patty vegan. They are made with carrot and pumpkin. You can make your own if you'd like. Some salt, white salt, Alpro yogurt and seaweed and broccoli. Okay, that's it. So I, uh, you mix all the ingredients and then you add hot water. And this is the result, okay? That's pretty much it. Now let's mix it and see. This meal, like all the chow that I do, is for people that can't afford uh, very much uh, so many things, uh, but it is easy to afford bread. So that's why I include bread and it is also for people that really don't care about eating but when they do eat they shall eat something that is vegan something that is nutritious and easy to fix and quick and that satisfies them all right so let's see let's taste mm. It's very, very good. It's delicate. When you pour the hot water at last, you can smell the seaweed coming up. And um, it has a very delicate taste. It's very good. And I hope you like it. I forgot to put the tea, <laughs> old user tea bag. <laughs> in here again but yes it will be good with the old use tea bag if you do use early Earl Grey I like 20s but if you use any Earl Grey okay it will taste much better for the aroma and uh, that's it that's pretty much it well I hope you all have a great St. Patrick's Day happy Patty's Day stay safe and uh, have fun all right, I'll see you later, mate. See ya.